What is up guys, this is your boy, what is boy 1991 and I'm here with the new Super Hair Spring Tears 3. I'll give you the basic idea here what we've got now at the moment, and we've got a new guy called Phonus. Ha! Lovely jokes, it's always back to superheroes like the last couple ones always have been. Vision, Eric nobody like Spider-Man, and Iron Man, and superhero which is up front of DC. So Phonus, it sounds like he has a thing, and... It's gonna be good because there's the five that you can see. So another jug, a lot of couple of jugs based on him being Phonus. As you can see, Phonus. Gauntlet. Yeah, after the scene and the gauntlet and the items that look just so brilliantly. As always, the quest that we have to do now when we start beginning is unlocking him. It needs a thousand. I have just enough. All over there because I was being a while away. And it, of course, will take the 20 search lock. Well, so just Jeff Casey. And every 15 seconds, he snaps his finger, killing a crusader. Because it snaps all about him. He snaps and he does thing with the gems. I'll show you what happens when you get that many. But first, let me reset. And here we go. This. Is the start of the event, as you can see, just in my poor with man and him. He's got a timer on him, and every so often he'll click a second. I'm just taking my time and snapped, and there you go, he's dead. So, it's going to be a case of trying to rush through. It's another one of the simple, straightforward rush throughs, and make sure you don't take more than in this case six. There, six times fifteen. Two minutes, three minutes. Because half a minute, two minutes. Minutes for six. Minute for four. Yeah, so we've got two, four, six, eight. Yeah, if two minutes before you have to lose the challenge mission, it's not going to happen at this moment. Which is why you've got to ram it up with a lot of people until no tomorrow. This one is a simple one, but it gets annoying because of his snap does as many random people as you can. And I'm going to keep snapping because why not you snapping like a little mofo? Uh, it'd be alright. It's not bad. It's not bad. We can do this. It's easy. Straightforward. Well, in the long run, this actually didn't cause much too much damage. It was a straightforward, just, you know, kill before you run out of your team. As long as you continuously update it and click the update, you got forward and forward and forward and forward and forward. Now, the next one you're going to see is the second event, and it kind of requires Thanos, I mean, Phonus, my bad, I keep getting to this. Don't copyright me. And it's this one here, this area 600, with only Phonus and some carefully chosen minions. Now you have only Phonus, Nate, Kohori, and any aliens. So that would be Kizablip and Siblip, and I don't recall if there's any others. However, at Crusaders, adjacent Crusaders, they get the speed by 25%, I believe each one. So it might stack, but I'll need to double check that and see what it is. On to fine, I'll do it myself. And now I'm resetting now, just showing you I decided to go to 915 with doing bonus. So this means that I'll be easy to get to to the 900 x the 900 zone world as always because of that new for tier 3. Which is good because 900 is a goal you need to get to unlock the tier 4s, which starts to incur you more of these. Which is pushing more damage. You, you see the how running is because your time bonus ones can only occur if you get the new one points. Apart from that, that's good. As I said, the second one is the final do it myself, and we have those guys. And they'll see, well, of course, you're going to see what it is, but you have to make sure you have those guys available when you summon them. So I mean, until then, you cannot have any of the other ones. So it means you're going to be clicking until you get the right ones. So the first one that technically pops up is. Your alien, Cassidablib. I'll show you what the other aliens I've got in this event are. But, uh. I don't know. We'll find out what happens next, and I can't even do it that increase. Now it decides to work. Apart from that, off we go to a point where you can see what happens. Also, guys. This is what it looks like when you get to like, decide to go over the top, go to air at 669 and push through just to see what you can get for doing damage and whatnot. 
I'm getting to the point where it's kind of getting uh, iffy. Now I'm earning about at least with all my stuff because of how long I've been here for only for one grand because of you don't get any other points for any of the other characters. So it's a really a small scrap for a level, even though I'd love to get them to have all the level up. Anyway, that was to defeat the purpose. <coughs> the next objective I'm going to reset is Balance 650 with the half the bench slots and just half the bench slots are disabled. I will show you what half of it disabled at least for me. I'm gonna reset. But yeah, that's all the aliens, like all the humans with the Nate, because Nate takes up Nate's spot. The aliens. Because there's at least been one for every hero. Then because if I open this up, you have Phonus, which is the alien. You have none of the aliens. In fact, the other ones were from um, uh, Independence Day, so which means Independence Day movie is coming. Independence Game One, which is just after this. I guess the thing ends, guys. We've got the next event, which is the in, well Independence Day one. Oh, but apart from that, I'll show you guys what balance looks like. Well, first of all way past the beginning but anyway it gives me enough chance to show you guys what exactly the slots are for sleeping because they do occasionally move it sounds like but it doesn't it doesn't say if they move or not because i haven't had to adjust this much at the moment around at least 473 before they get moved up you have the basics like just gym that slot mindy slot gamora slot so, Nate, Natalie slot, Jason slot, Kahori slot. The original slot for Sarah, Space Kings one, which is Fire Phoenix. You have the Kings, you have Nate himself as well, I think. And then if you've got the Easter one, slot 1, 24, 22, 21, I can't count. And 26 and 28, at least at this level here. I never actually double check to see if they move up every 25 because I've just been busy doing some other things. But I'll have a quick look now since we're going to rush through this quick thing and see if, if they move every 25 levels, but I do not think so. No, it sounds like they are at least 100. Either every 100 or forever. I do I cannot tell. Apart from that, it's a good challenge. It's straightforward. And. Yeah, not difficult. You just have to move stuff around every once in a while. So this is basically the challenge with the set to get to 700, driving off these interstellar invaders. All the basic games as you can see. This is Brother Finus and his fair for Faranos, the bigger one. Bonus, summer brother, just younger. Evil twin brother, and then whatever happens is whenever those aliens come in, they'll go faster movement and more damage if Phonus is there. So of course the basic answer is just try and get Phonus out of the way the moment you can. But of course, it make it a little bit difficult because the way the formation is, you can't do much unless you continue to upgrade or throw in a couple of people here and there and make it work. I'm gonna make a seat, moved fast because he's arrived and then died, but of course it's getting not much chance to go attack me because I'm doing enough DPS to kinda of knock him down before they run on my face and see they're running slower once and you see what it looks like. It'll be interesting to get to 700. And I am done now. We got the 700. It wasn't too difficult as usual, it's just the aliens move fast and do more damage. I had to update like three to four times, which is fine. But the last and final challenge we have to do with one day left, which will be done before then, is get to 750 while getting an incredibly sneak peek. As I said before, Rex the wrestler takes up a slot in the formation. As I said, it's any only of those two, I think. They're, those two are taken, I believe. Not any of these spots. Because those two aren't going to be touched by Rex. Increase 100% DPS for each Crusader that is from the Guardians of the Galaxy, and he moves every 25 areas. 
which is why it gets to seven. That is fine. That is fine. We'll just move on, and I'll show you what it looks like. And um, yeah, not too bad. It's one of the simple ones today. Yay! Yeah. Uh oh. Oops. There goes. And I am done. Again, it wasn't too difficult. It moves around every 25 areas around the spots apart from taking those back to here, which is fine. That is good to see and whatnot. And I guess the major hit you're gonna get is straight after this, we are going to get the Guardian, the Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy event, and he will be the unlock. That is my concept thing I'm going to say now, and I think everyone will have to know it by now, because why do you have him? And it's all giving you facts towards it from it. So I'm expecting him to be there. We'll find out when it happens. Apart from that, whoop, I am done. Now I just gotta do the last extra bit of Finus's little gear changes. Apart from that, not difficult at all. Not difficult at all. And now here we are at the end of the video with the usual, now usual, review, or at least summarizing of the character that you unlocked and released in the tier 3 bonus, as you can see down here. Here's pretty straightforward, and I think I can't explain the beginning. Yes, it's all about snaps, because, you know, he's just the way he is. So, first of all, Crush Scout, he does increases 300%, which is pretty good. Or is it in the 28th slot? Because it's 24, 25, 67, 27 slot. lot. So yeah, increases damage by 300%. The next one is a gem one. Cosmic gem, minerals of all unlimited power. So every time he gets 40 kills, he clicks a gem up to 6 gems. Increasing DPS by 450 per gem. But there's a point that changes every so often. You still go up by 10 and 6 because of the next thing that pops up. Every 25 levels, that's the usual buff you get, which is pretty fine. An extra 400% DPS increase. He probably is half running the team as long as his blip. Yes, it is his blip. Because that is the. Nope. Kibble blip. Damn it. And then. The last one is use for minions. They increase the cosmic gem for 50% for each alien crusader in the formation. Because there's four aliens, because it's the one, two, three, four in this case. So, his, instead of being the way it is, is 450, I think it got up to. No, it's 250. It's fine. The next one is I'll do it myself. Reduces the number of creatures required by Cosmic 10 by 10 for every gem that hasn't been collected, which is why once he gets to 60, you can see it's stuck at that, because. Yeah, 40 times 6. Or 50 times 6 is 9. So he's still got one more to go to get another gem. But it slowly goes up for every 10. See? Now you're at the max. Which is fine. And now, that last one is what comes up from this thing. After collecting 6 of those gems you've got now, and you're racking up 600 of these kills right here. Bonus then has to wait at least for one creature on the field and then decides to snap his fingers. When it happens, all of the monsters are killed and the quest is completed for that area. Which is, a f which is fine because it does it kind of encourages speed and rushing, but the only problem is, is that you have to try to help be farming because with this challenge, you have to try and get 50 at one time to snap. That's a little bit difficult. Unless you figure out where his last kill is and then spam it to the end. Apart from that, this event is done. The good old superhero spring of tier 3. Yay! Woo! Well, that was an interesting character, Phonies. Haha, <laughs> Invincible Infinity. Whoa, no way, don't sink me. Anyway, this is your boy, Waterboy991. Thanks, subscribe, comment, and like to my videos. And I'll show you some more Cotley videos straight away. And when they come, because I'm a little hectic, but I can make time for you guys, so I'll catch you later. Bye.